What's going on guys? My name is Jay and in this video I want to show you how you can add Font Awesome to your WordPress site. I'm here in fontawesome.io, the official website for Font Awesome. And you can scroll down a little bit and you can read more about it so you can understand, you know, they have all these icons, no JavaScript required and all that stuff. Now I'm going to scroll up a little bit. I'm going to click on icons so I can show you all those beautiful icons. All right, scrolling down a little bit. And here you can see all these cool icons. You can, you can keep scrolling down and down and down and down and you will see all this cool icons, okay? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna click home and I want you to click download. Now, after you click, you click download, it's a zip file, open that zip file and you will see these files. And now we need two files, very important. We need this folder that sets fonts and we need one, is, one, one of these CSS files. Okay, I'm going to use this, the one that says dot min, because it's minified, it's going to go faster. So this is the one that I'm going to use. Okay, now, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make sure I am inside my theme folder. By the way, this is a child theme. If you don't know what a child theme is, click this link right there. Learn a little bit so you are not confused. But I have here my parent theme, you can see all the files, but I'm going to include my font awesome files inside my child theme. Okay. Now let's go back to the font awesome files. I'm going to copy the, the fonts folder, copy, paste it right here. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go to the CSS. I'm going to copy this one, the one that says min. Now I'm going to go back to my theme folder. I'm going to go to CSS and I'm going to paste it right here, right? All looking good. I'm going to go to my text editor. I have here the same file. This is my theme folder files. And you can see that we have the font awesome CSS and we have the fonts folder that we actually pasted right now. Everything is here. So I'm going to open my functions.php that you will have in your theme. No matter what theme you're using, you will have a functions.php. I'm going to click there. And maybe you're going to have a lot of more code than me, but because I'm using a child theme that this is the only code that I have right now. Okay. Just find the block of code that is calling the, your all your styles and your JavaScript and stuff like that. So go and search for something like this. Okay. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy this one, the one that says custom.css. I'm going to paste it down here. I'm going to change it, change the name to whatever you want. I'm just going to, I'm just going to put font awesome style and we need to change it to this one right here. So it's going to be font awesome dot min dot CSS. All right. I'm going to save that. All right. Now we're good to go. Let's see. This is my website. Let's add some icons in here. Okay. So I'm going to edit this page right here. All right, and you can see that I have here all this content. I um, want to add some, let's see, I want to add like uh, some icon here. Maybe the WordPress icon or something. So let's go back to our Font Awesome website and let's click on icons again. Let's scroll down a little bit. And you will see here that we have a search icons bar, right? Now you can search whatever you want for now. I want the WordPress icon, so WordPress, and here it is. So I'm going to click on it. Here we have different sizes and what we need is this code right here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy this code right here. 
I'm gonna go back to my page. I'm gonna paste it right here. Right? So is the icon, this is the icon code. And then I added WordPress. Let's see how it looks. And look at that. So beautiful. Now, we can actually control the size with adding some specific class. So for example, I can add FA LG for large. So font, uh, font awesome hyphen LG. Let's see. And look at that, it's a little bit bigger. Now you can add more sizes. I think it's like X5, I think. No, it's 5X, sorry. There you go, super huge. Now it goes up to five, so you can go four, three, two, for example, two X, that, that's two X. You can add extra classes and you can change the color, change uh, the size, the space between the words, I don't know, whatever. If you have CSS skills, you can do whatever you want. Now let's add another one. Let's go back to font awesome. Let's scroll down a little bit. Let's see, you know what, well, let's search Facebook, for example. So Facebook, let's click this one. Same thing. Back to my page, I'm gonna paste it right here and let's Facebook. Let's see how it looks. And there you go. So you can see a difference. We have here a class of 2X, so it's double size and the Facebook, it doesn't have that. So it's the normal size, okay? We can even add the font to our menu. So right now we have font awesome in our WordPress theme, so we can use it anywhere, okay? So I'm gonna go to menu, and uh, I'm gonna go back here, I'm gonna search for home, for example. I'm gonna click here, I'm gonna copy this code. Here is my menu. I'm gonna go here to my label, I'm gonna paste it right here, and add a little bit of space there. I'm gonna save the menu and let's see how it looks. And look at that. We have a cool icon and actually we can add the class. For large. Let's see how it looks. And look at that, it's a little bit bigger. All right, so now is that simple. You can add and have hundreds of icons available for your theme. You can use it anywhere, okay? So thank you so much for watching this video. If you wanna learn, subscribe. I'm uploading one video every week, so see you next week. Bye-bye.